Hello guys, it's James here from Inside United and today I am very happy because Manchester United have beaten Aston Villa 3-1 at Old Trafford today in the Saturday 3 o'clock kickoff. Um, let's just say it. And the Herrera got two goals, a brace, and Wayne Rooney scored a fantastic, sublime goal to put Man United 2 0 up in the game. Um, obviously, Ben Taki did pull one back, a bit of a mistake from De Gea, he should have done better with it, and it, it didn't really, shouldn't have gone in, but really, I think we were fairly comfortable throughout the game. It was fairly nervy in the last couple of minutes, but you're going to get that if you're only a goal up. But I thought. We we held the game well. We've got another three points. So that's our seventh win from eight league games, and you know we we keep ourselves very much, and we we take a step closer now to those Champions League game places. Um, it was one of our games which we must win. We've got a couple of hard ones coming up against uh, City and Chelsea now, and I think we need to at least get. I like to say four points, a win and a draw. But I would take it if we got two, uh, a draw and a draw. Or I'd take it if we got three, win one, lose one. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a really good performance from the United team today. We went one and one. Um, it's only one change from the team, which beat Liverpool, um, with Rojo coming in for small in. Obviously, he had an illness. And it was a very bright start. I talked about mentality and keeping up that start which we had against Tottenham and Liverpool um, and we did that, we did in my preview and we did that we did put a lot of pre put them under a lot of pressure kept the ball in our, their own half put them under a lot of you know we had all the possession we were crossing the balls we had chances and we kept them penned in that area uh, and we did create some good chances however we couldn't capitalize cap capitalize on the chances we did then go one nil up um when Jan, who was by far uh, most productive player on the left hand side, um, did very well with Blint, they linked up well. Um, found Herrera, who did a, who took a very nice touch, which then set him up for the finish, and he coolly slides it into the bottom uh, right hand corner to give Manchester United the one nil lead against Aston Villa, which I thought was deserved. Um, really. Um, uh, on the basis of the plays, Villa barely threatened on the in the first half, and United took a uh, one 0 lead into um, the half time break. Uh, as I said, was deserved. Um, then it was two 0 when Di Marie, who was a substitute today, came on from the bench, set up Root, uh, did a cross. Rooney takes it down with one with his uh, left foot, and then wait, was it left foot? Uh, right foot, I think it may have been. Yeah, and then with his left foot, smashes it, turns and smashes it um, into the top right hand, left hand corner. It was a sublime finish to take it out of the air and then smash it into that top corner on the turn. It was a great goal to put United 2 0 up. 79 minutes played, you're expecting that to be the winner. Uh, and you expect that to see off at Villa, who barely really threatened, saying that they did have one chance from Christian Benteke in the second half before Rooney did score to make it 1 0, but he pulled his shot way over the bar. However, only a minute later, and um, United uh, lacked off, went to sleep, and um, let Villa in, and they ended up making it 2 1. Uh, Benteke um, scored the goal. It was a corner from the right. No one picked up anyone. The dummy, um, it was a nice dummy from the Villa player, went to Benteke, shot first time. Rojo couldn't get there with his block and it went straight through De Gea's legs. It wasn't actually that powerful of a shot. He should have kept it out. How many times have you seen those shots saved by his legs? But it went through them and um, Villa pulled one back 2-1. And it was game on again. We had about another 10 minutes plus stoppage time, which was four minutes. So it could have been another. I had about another 15 minutes to try uh, pull the game back um, from that position. And um, I thought they didn't really have many chances. Uh, Corey had one only about three minutes after they actually pulled one back. But apart from that, they barely threatened. And Man United did get their third um, into the second minute of the four added on when uh, Rooney, he won the drop ball, um, had a good run, he ran into their half um, and drew, 
drived with the ball, played it out to Mata uh, on the wing, who then pulled it back to the edge of the box where Herrera met it at the right time and he uh, side-footed it into the corner of the left-hand net. Brad Guzan was all muddled up and uh, he didn't react quick enough to it. And um, Herrera got his second of the game to make it 3-1 to Manchester United. Um, so um, United won 3-1. What does that sort of tell us about the match, though? We kept up that, as I said, uh, that we kept up that bright start and that mentality where we came out, we put them under pressure, pen them in their own half, not let them have too much of the ball, don't let them have too much uh, chances, and start to get a couple of goals. We did everything of that, but we didn't score. We, we did that at Liverpool, and we went one 0 up. Uh, we did it at Tottenham, and we went three 0 up. We hadn't scored against Villa; they were doing very well parking the bus. Um, Young was getting a lot of luck down the left hand side but we ha we didn't capitalise on all the possession and the start we did have we did then go 1-0 up just going into half time it could have been more but it was one and thankfully we had gone 1-0 up it could have been a very difficult second half had we not found that net late in that first half um, Herrera was very good today man of the match um, he, he did intercept a lot of the passes and create a lot in the middle of the park and also he scored two goals, um, which was vital really. His first one was a great shot and that um, put us 1-0 up, which could have made it a very difficult second half had it still been 0-0. The last one completed the completed the game and finished off Villa. They could have had one or two more chances left in that time, so that was good to seal it with that. It was a fairly comfortable, um, it was a fairly comfortable afternoon for Manchester United. Um, the scoreline three one, same against Villa, sounds like a comfortable scoreline as well. But it was quite nervy as t at times. Um, obviously, from long, long parts in the game, we're only a go up um, for forty three minutes, nil nil. You know, fairly nervy. Uh, we got the goal, second half, you're hoping to get a second, get a third, finish it off. We didn't do that, it stayed a 1-0. We then went 2-0 up, you're thinking 11 minutes left, we've won it now. Game game finished almost. Then a minute later we go and concede, back only a goal up. Mistake, like it was for the, their goal. Um, all that was needed and they're back in it for 2-2. Two -two. Um, so it was very uh, nervy. Uh, especially after a Corey's chance, but we did then make it 3-1 and that really did seal the game. There was no chance that Villa were going to get two goals in those last final two minutes. De De Marie, even though he's not been playing well, still got another assist. He does seem to do that very well. And um, so United got all three points. Very important uh, as earlier in the day, Arsenal did beat, um, Arsenal did beat Liverpool. 4-1 at the Emirates, which means that in the league at the moment we stay a point behind Arsenal in uh, third place. We are a point in front of City, but they've got a game in hand, so they can then re-go into that second place. We would drop back, down back to fourth place, and we would be two points behind them again. We are eight in front of Liverpool um, following their defeat, and we are nine in front of Southampton, who lost 1-0 to Everton today, which means Everton probably won't get relegated now. And it means Ev Southampton are probably out of the race now for the top four places. Tottenham, uh, I haven't mentioned them. We are six points in front of them. No, we're nine points in front of them, but they got a game in hand. So have they won that? That would be six points still. If they lose that, it's still nine points against them. I really, um, I wanted Arsenal to win. Yeah, a draw would be good, but that now means that it opens a gap there, and it means we are, as I said, it's, you know, six points in front of Tottenham, eight in front of Liverpool, nine in front of Southampton. Um, but thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, Man United have won three one against Villa. Um, to keep Villa down there in the relegation battle, to keep us firmly in that top four race. I don't think we'll get third or second anymore. I think we will get that fourth spot. Um, as I said, um, that you know, with Southampton and Liverpool losing today, we put ourselves mainly in that race. I think Tottenham are still in it, but if they lose tomorrow against Burnley, then they could be out of it. And also, just to mention, if City lose Monday, we go a point in front of them, and then they're 
the good point is, if we then beat them next Sunday, we go four points in front of them. I mean, that is really maintained our third place, maybe. But we'll see. We've got City next Sunday. I will take a point from that game. It would be nice if we can get all three. And actually, I feel very, very confident. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you later.